Have you heard about the square that was always feeling left out? Well, it was because it never felt like it had enough area. Let's take a moment to understand what that means. Area, in the simplest terms, is a measure of how much space an object takes up. Think of it like this. If you have a colorful blanket, the area would be how much of the floor it can cover when spread out. Now let's bring back our friend, the square. A square has four equal sides, right? The area of the square is found by multiplying the length of one side by itself. This is because it's covering that much space in both the length and width. And we measure this in square units, just like our square friend. So our square friend isn't left out anymore, it just needed to understand its area. Now how can we help our square friend figure out its area? Well, let's dive right in. The area of a shape is essentially the amount of space it covers. Imagine you have a bunch of tiny squares, each one the size of a postage stamp, and you want to cover your shape with them. The area would be the total number of these tiny squares you'd need, so how do we calculate it? For our square friend, it's quite straightforward. All sides of a square are equal, right? So we take one side of the square, let's say it's the length of 10 Lego blocks. Now we multiply this by itself, which in our case would be 10 times 10. And voila, we've got 100 Lego blocks squared. That's the area of our square friend. But what if you're dealing with a rectangle instead? A rectangle is like a square's cousin who loves to stretch out a bit more on one side. So it has two sides of equal length and two sides of equal width. To find the area of a rectangle, we multiply its length by its width. For example, let's say we have a rectangle that's six units long and five units wide. To find the area, we multiply six by five. That gives us 30 units squared. That's the area of our rectangle. Let's try another problem. Take a good look at this rectangle. This time, instead of being given the length of the sides, we can see that there are squares inside. One of the quickest ways to calculate the area is to count the amount of squares on each side like this. One, two, three, four. And on the other side, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So now we multiply four times six. If you have not yet memorized your facts, don't worry. Another way you can find the area is to count all the squares inside the rectangle. Let's try it together. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. 23, 24. So the area of this rectangle is 24 units. Great job, you did it. Now don't be fooled into thinking that the squared part means we're dealing with some high flying mathematics. It's just a way to express that we're dealing with a two dimensional space. You know, like a flat piece of paper or a screen. Remember, the area is all about the amount of space a shape covers. So next time you see a square or a rectangle, remember their secret formula. Side times side for the square and length times width for the rectangle. And just like that, our square and rectangle friends know their area. It's as simple as multiplying two sides. Now that we've helped our shape friends find their areas, let's recap what we've learned. We dove headfirst into the world of squares and rectangles, discovering that to find their area, we simply multiply the length by the width. So if you have a rectangle that's six feet long and three feet wide, you'd have an area of 18 square feet. Simple as pie, right? Now let's sprinkle in some fun facts. Did you know that the concept of area is used in all sorts of real life situations? For instance, if you're building a house, you'll need to calculate the area of each room to know how much flooring to buy. Or perhaps you're planting a garden and you need to figure out how much soil to purchase. Knowing how to calculate area can save you time, money, and a whole lot of guesswork. And here's another little tidbit for you. The word area comes from the Latin word area, meaning an open space or courtyard. So when you're finding the area of a shape, you're essentially figuring out how much open space it contains. Pretty cool, huh? So there you have it, folks. We've journeyed through the land of shapes, unraveling the mystery of how to find their areas, and along the way, we've gained some fun facts and practical knowledge. Remember, every shape has its area, and it's not hard to find. It's all about knowing the formula and doing a little multiplication. Please like and subscribe to our channel, and we will see you on the next video.